Okay, this hive I'm going to check for if they're honey bound. Maybe pull one frame of honey. They were pretty full a couple weeks ago and I pulled one frame. They're going through the pollen patty pretty good. I put squeezed pollen patty in here. It's only been oh three days I think since I put pollen patty in there and they're already eating most of it. This is a feeder board I made myself. You can see where the, the pollen patty falls through, gets squeezed through. This frame I had just put in there when I pulled a another frame a week ago. Uh, they're starting to pull a little wax on it. Not much. Okay. Next frame is pretty much empty. Next frame is full of honey. Somewhat, it's got mostly capped honey. There's a little uncapped nut there on there, but it's, boy, and they're going way out beyond it. So, so they got one empty one, the one that they're working on. This is the one I put in the other day as an experiment it had it's got no it's only got a wooden bar in here and I wanted to see if they would build comb off of it and they're doing a wonderful job of building comb down to the bottom I'm really really excited about that uh, I didn't even put wax on this bar. I just put uh, a little sliver of wood in there. That's pretty good. When they get done with that, I'll probably use that one to make comb honey. And then this one is completely full of honey. So they've got that one and this one, that one they're working on. This one's completely full, beautifully capped. It's another full one. I can see down inside there, and they've got brood in the center, and there's a couple of uh, couple of frames of honey on the outside that are pulled. There's another one that's completely done. There's four completely full ones. This box I only put in here four weeks ago. Now they got a little uncapped on the bottom. This side they're almost done. As I expect as they move to the outside. This is November 16th. Uh, they're just starting to work on this a little bit. So, uh, that's fine. And then this last one I'm betting is 
Pretty much completely empty. Yep. So I'm not going to be able to get in here for quite a while because the weather's going to turn bad. So I believe what I'm going to do is pull one of these and that'll give them plenty of plenty of space. Yep, that looks really good. I'm going to push these together as gently as I can, put the empty frame on the outside. one okay now I've got to get these bees off the edge Because I need to put my feeder board back down. I'm going to squish any more bees and have to. Come on, ladies. A couple here that need to vacate. This is empty. I haven't used this in a while. They just stopped taking. <coughs> Stop taking sugar water. Okay, now I can put the top back on here. What I do is I just take this pollen patty and I squish it through the screen. I hope you can see that. I just take it push it through the screen like that and like I say I've been doing that in each hole there's four holes and they've been taking it all in about three four days so the scientific beekeeper says your bees will end up much stronger if you feed them pollen these are actually not they're artificial pollen patties Okay, put the lid back on for now. 